Let's see, did you ever go to high school? Yes, I did. Where'd you go to high school? What was your high school's name? Midland. Mit- Mid- Midland? Is that I heard, what they say? I heard Midland. I heard Midland. You from Midland, right? Listen to me. You from Midland? Listen. Huh? I went to Midland High School. Kim McPride. Where'd you go? I went to Carroll High School in Carroll, Michigan. You guys had a high school? I graduated from Flushing. Go oh, Oilers! No. <laughs> oh, it was the Raiders. That was close. They were the Raiders. They were the Tigers, I beat you all. But our mascot was a bird. It was like this owl-ish looking <laughs> For the Raiders? Bird. I know, and they called them Raider birds. There's no such thing. It's better than the Chemics. What were they? I mean, we a chemic. Like, what would a chemic be? Not a, a chemical. chemist. Not a chemist. Not a chemical. Uh, our, our logo was like an atom looking thing, which ironically, not ironically, but I did attend my elementary school, was Adams School, and we were the Adams Adams. <laughs> True really? story. Well, what was one of your most embarrassing moments that you had in high school? We did go to high school, even though some we of go. us a little longer than others. Michael's old. I would like forget my class schedule a lot and have to like write it in the beginning of my planner so I could look at it and remember what class I was going to next, which is really weird for me because I tend to remember stuff decently well. I would be like walking somewhere and be like, am I going the right way? I don't even know where I'm going. And then I have to like look in my planner and be like, no, I'm supposed to be going to like English this way, so mm. super random. It was a afternoon on a weekday. That's when we go to school um, in Midland. <laughs> we had gone on like a field trip. I can't remember where we went. We just like walked down the road. We probably went to get donuts. It was in my English class. It was pretty lax teacher. However, when we came back, I was being rambunctious and ob- ob- obnoxious. Surprise. Um, and I did something. I don't remember what, but my teacher pulled me by my ear. Um, like old fashioned, just like in front of everybody, which was, I think it was okay, but slightly shaming because I obviously still remember that moment. Very <laughs> I feel like if that happened today, yeah, you some will be going to lesson. jail. My sophomore year of high school, is that when you take algebra two? Yes. It depends. If you're dumb, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So we were late all the time to uh, to school because my niece Tammy she drove us, and she was You've always late. I was always ready, ready, right? I actually really was, believe it or not. And I was always late to my first hour. And I remember one time we got to school, and I was like 45 minutes late to class. Bueller, Bueller. There were only 10 minutes left, and I walked into the classroom, and the teacher just looked at me. He was like, Bouchard, don't even bother coming. Mm. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'm marking like you absent moment. for today. Just one of those moments. Yeah, that was awful. That Ever was been awful. there? Kelsey, what was the toughest decision that you made when you were in high school? My senior year came around and I made the decision to cut back on things that I was doing. So I ran cross country uh, my freshman year with my junior year. And um, I kind of tried it out because my sister did it and kind of liked it, but then realized that I wasn't like super great at it and it wasn't my favorite thing. So I was like, I want to use my fall to like enjoy my senior year and like actually like do a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do. So I decided to not do cross country. Partying! No, I I also quit band my senior year. Uh, So I didn't do band. So I actually got to go to football games and not be in the band. <laughs> wow, you quit band. I quit band. My you quit band and school. cross country? Yeah, but I still did what soccer. What did you do? Soccer. Okay. <laughs> did you score any goals? I didn't know you are yes. allowed to quit band. That's like blood in, I blood just out. I don't take, I didn't take it. My brother quit band. It might have also had something to do, do it. with the fact that me and my best friend both tried out to be drum major and neither of us got it. <laughs> I hate my life. My senior year, my family and I were well, we were fighting. Like we had just, uh, we hit a rough patch, and it was right in the middle of my uh, play. So I was in the school, the spring musical, mm-hmm. and I actually got a part, which I had never got a part in the musical before. I've been in other plays, but I never got a part in the musical. I always was in the chorus. I had a part. Things were really tense at home. I made the decision to to pull out of being in the play, so that way our family could spend time together and focus on our relationships with each other oh. and instead of going forth with the play because I knew it would take up all of our time. My toughest decision I think was my freshman year and I didn't make the baseball team. Surprise! Uh, <laughs> I played sports my whole life. I never made one team 
that I had that you had to try out for. Never made one. I wasn't like that bad. You liked you liked putting yourself out there. Yeah, um, taking a risk. I didn't make the baseball team, and I was like, man, I was really feeling like I was almost like I was like on the edge. Like I'm like I had a pretty good tryout. Like why didn't I make it? And I remember having a conversation with somebody, and they were like, you should ask the coach. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. That sounds like that would be hard and not fun. Um, but I was like, you know what? It's gonna hang over my head if I don't know what the what the reason was. And I remember, like, it was after school one day, and I just went into the coach's in his classroom, and I was like, hey, Coach Turk, just wanted to ask, like, what was it that I didn't make the team? And he gave me some pretty basic stuff that wasn't crazy, wasn't huge surprises, but I at least I had closure, I had clarity about yeah. that, about not not making it. Whereas before it would have just hung over me, and I would have wondered and probably gotten upset with different people. It was a really tough decision because it was scary and intimidating, but it brought clarity and brought brought <clears throat> peace in my mind at the end of the day. So, what's your funniest moment from high school? It was only funny to me because we were in uh, ninth grade in my geometry class. I had this person I sat behind the entire semester. He never changed our seats. Her, her name was Autumn. She won't be watching this. We were in class and um, it was super quiet. We were taking the test and I coughed and this glob of phlegm shot out oh, of my mouth, no. hit her right in the back and just stuck there. And I froze <laughs> and looked around to see if anybody noticed. Nobody did. Everyone was so oh. intent on the test. So, so I had a choice. Am I gonna let her know? No way. I just oh, no. hawked a loogie onto her back? Or am I gonna be quiet? What do you think I did? You were quiet. I, I, I don't think you did anything. I didn't! Oh. I saw her at lunch like oh. two hours later and there was still like this dry oh. crusty on her back. Oh, gross. Oh. Uh. And I didn't really like her much so it made it even better. Oh. I was in Mrs. Sevener's speech class. I remember I was using some words that I wouldn't recommend using in the classroom or whatever. She put a hand sanitizing wipe in my mouth and made me keep that in my mouth for a couple of minutes. That's worse than a bar of soap. Everyone else thought it was funny. It wasn't funny to me, but. What's happening in Midland? <laughs> They're like pulling you around by your ear? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shoving hand sanitizer in your mouth? I was apparently a worse kid than I remember. Did you say this out loud? What kind of student were you? On a roll. What's your most embarrassing moment? The day I hired Sam. That's not embarrassing. That's called a mistake. <laughs> Ukrainian isn't Middle Eastern. Well, this is not a geography video, is it, Michael? Did you ever go to high school? I did. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs>